The ISAF Sailing World Cup, Sail Melbourne, is where the stars of the 2016 Olympics begin their road to Rio. Sail Melbourne is the first international Olympic event after London 2012. There are new faces and new classes too. Australian 470 sailor Malcolm Page won his second gold medal at London 2012, but he's moving on. Coming out of the back end of the London Olympics, I've retired from Olympic sailing after 15 years of, uh, of doing that. So it's, um, uh, I feel like obligated in many ways, but also excited to be here as a patron of Sail Melbourne. It's obviously one of uh, the World Cup events that's around the world. I think there's five of them now in this new Olympiad. Page's former hell, Matthew Belcher, carries on the Olympic dream and has signed up a new young star, his former training partner, Will Ryan. Absolutely love Star Melbourne. Uh, it's sort of a bit of a tradition that every time we start a new partnership, we have to start at this event. Uh, it's always done us well in the past, so uh, fourth time, fourth new crew for me, um, my fourth uh, sort of cycle, and uh, yeah, it's exciting, especially for Will and I. We haven't been in the boat that much, uh, but it's just nice to be here and be part of it. So it's a huge event. Belcher and Ryan were challenged, along with all the other Olympic classes, by big waves, strong winds and fickle breezes too. South African duo Jim Asinati and Roger Hudson were at the Australians' heels, but they couldn't match the Aussies' perfect score. One man who enjoyed the conditions was Australia's Brendan Casey, who won the Finn event. After finishing 13th at London 2012, it was a great way to start his year. Australian Crystal Weir finished 12th in 2012 in the Laser Radial, but in Melbourne, finished with a massive 22-point lead. Going in today, I had an 18-point buffer, which was, you know, nice to go into the race. And in that race, you know, I didn't really want to be risky at the start, so I uh, held back on the start line and I paid the price around the first lap and rounded like fifth, and then on the second beat, I caught up to first, so it was good. It's a good race. In the men's laser, Australia's Tom Burton is following in the footsteps of teammate and gold medalist Tom Slingsby. Burton finished with a 14-point lead over his nearest rival, Matthew Wyrne from Australia. And the women's 470 event was won in style too by Australia's Sasha and Jamie Ryan. Uh, today it was pretty windy out there, definitely pretty challenging conditions for us. Um, so we just wanted to sail conservative, we started well and then throughout the race managed to get back to the front. And there were new classes in the Olympic competition for the first time. The men's 49er was joined by the new women's FX, bringing twin trapezing for men and women. Luke Parkinson and Jasper Warren from Australia came through to take gold in the 49er after a capsize in the medal race. In the women's FX, it was Australia's Alex Maloney and Molly Meach who took the historic first ever FX Olympic regatta win. Melbourne began the long road to Rio in 2016. The next steps will be taken in the USA at the Miami Olympic Classes Regatta in late January.